speakers for tonight presenting their HPL. HPL is High Performance Leadership. It's one of the requirements to obtain your ALS. ALS is Advanced Leadership Silver. Our first presenter is Joan, and she will discuss to us her experiences during the Toastmasters Leadership Institute as a Dean. 2014 to 2015. She will be presenting her vision and values. It's number two of the HPL project. The timing will be 10 to 15 minutes presentation. There's a five to 10 minutes question and answer and five minutes for the evaluation wrap up. Did you get that, Helen? Please help me, make, help me welcome Joan. Welcome, distinguished Toastmasters and fellow Toastmasters, and honored guest. This is number two, and how I arrived here. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to give you some insight. What is my passion that got me here? Share my vision with you, our mission, our core values, and wrap up with the team essence. Postmaster Leadership Institute. Ah, my passion. How did I get here? I looked at TLI when I was an area governor. And the clubs were not wanting to send their officers to TLI. Why? Why did they not feel that they needed to go outside the club? We don't need to do that. We just stay in our club and be happy. That was the wrong answer. <laughs> I saw more value in the clubs that were sending their members to TLI because they brought things back that built the club up and helped the club to be distinguished. Select distinguished. Why not reach for presidents distinguished of all clubs? Why limit yourself to just being a club? Bring it up. How can we do that? That's my vision. That's how I got here. Toastmasters Leadership Institute is a biannual. I see it as continuous improvement. Because in my vision, I have a booklet, a handbook for Division 57, District 57. And TLI, our Toastmaster International, has changed our directives. We are now club-centric. Why is that? Because we're still losing clubs. We don't want to lose clubs anymore. We want them to work as a team, to have synergy, to have action, to want to do better. And the club officers and the members go to this training so that they, we can promote those things for them to give them creativity and enthusiasm, make them think, how can I take, that's a good idea, I'll take that back to my club. And the educational environment, we want it to be just flowing. 
they go from class to class. We don't want any glitches or too late for this class or late for that class. We want it to move quickly, slow, and in one respect, quickly, and in another respect, moving slowly that they can get from one place to the other, be connected. And in the end result, we want them to embrace TLI. We want them to anticipate TLI. We want them to put it on the calendar. Ooh, it's coming up. I want to be there. This is the place to be. And to know that they can elevate their clubs to the highest distinguished level. With the information that they get from TLI, it will generate this ongoing energy and synergy. That's my vision. Our mission? Excellent training. Relaxed learning environment to all the district members. Leadership growth. Inspiration. Courage. Encourage club success at the highest distinguished level. Looked at the core values. And in one item, you can say, look at Toastmasters' values altogether. Integrity. Do what we say we're going to do. If someone calls you for help, help them now. If we respect all our members, time and their needs. What are their needs? Find out their needs. Be respectful of their time. Make it worth their while. If it's not worth it, they're not going to want to come back. And service to our members. I mean the presenters. I mean the chairs, the TLI deans the members themselves, the room monitors, everybody who has anything to do with TLI. Even when you send out information to get them to come, be respectful of their time and their needs and serve them. Provide the highest quality presentations. If you don't, they're not going to want to come back. We want them to embrace TLI. We must, <clears throat> absolutely must, give them the best quality. mentioned this before, the seamless education environment. Why? Why seamless? We don't want the members to worry about anything other than coming to TLI, learning, and networking. Learn from others in their networking. There, there are so many opportunities. We want to open the door for them. Communications must be clear, concise, and valid. Check, have someone else check. Make sure you're not sending out untrue information. It should be 
clear how to get to the parking lot. It should be clear what road to turn down. It should be clear what date and time to be there. Clarity, conciseness, and valid. Have the users check it before you put it out there. And the TLI chairs, the deans, build teams. Don't just have one level. It's too much work for one person. And you need a team, you need a village. <laughs> You don't want to just leave one person running all over here and there and lose out on what the team is really trying to do. Cross-team communications? What is that? That means, Tyree, if you are the chair for registration, I want you to work closely with Randy over there because he is the chair of hospitality. And Paul is the chair of facilities. All three of you should be working very closely together. Like a well-oiled machine. We'll meet and work as a team. Most essential is to be a team. Here it is. This is the essence. Everything counts. Everyone counts. Attitude counts. Have fun and smile. I saw a lot of preparation in that, and one of the things that will do you well is if, well, I saw preparation and passion, and you have a lot of the passion for it, and one of your goals on this should be to transfer the passion to the people that are on your team, because if you can do that, it's going to be successful, because I can, you, I can see that, particularly in your vision, where you talked about getting people to anticipate TL item, put on their calendar. I think you didn't, you didn't actually say it, but you want to put it on, your, on their calendar before it's even announced that, you know, at some point there's going to be TLI yeah. and we're going to go. So I encourage you to figure out a way to transfer your passion so the people on your team have it. Kyrie. Joel, for this Q&A, one thing I would like this I I heard your vision, but could you paint a picture of what that vision looks like? Give it some shape, some color, and some depth. I mean, I heard the words, but tell me what is it going to look like? I mean, how are we supposed to feel, or how many people are going to be? Can you add to that? Yeah, flush it out. <laughs> How old you Pete Paul? <laughs> what I envision is that college, that setting, that educational setting. I would like to see them move to a different area of the college where it's more open and flat, um, like a cafeteria type setting where you can break out easier. <laughs> And there's more room for networking. I would also like to see our members be able to sit down while they eat meals. There's never enough seating, and they're always standing or sitting on wet grass. I would love to see 
seamless moving between classrooms. Venues for the first session and the fourth session easily moving from one to the other. Picking up a bottle of water if you need it as you walk from class to class or leaving the first session. To have enough food energy so the brain energy is connected. One real quick. How many people? Roughly, how many people do you have? I think we math, had about 250 and maybe 100, it was 160 some odd got actually certified. For this one, that would question is numbers because you had more people than that. I know, but they didn't have the card at the last session. Well, those are, we those maybe there wasn't a credit, but you had more people attended. Yes, so we did. Yeah, question. Yeah. Uh, two things. I, wanna, I was on the campus last week and the new cafeteria is just finished, so we'll be able to hopefully use it the next time. It's very nice. Can you tell us a little bit about how you communicated your vision and mission to the members of your team and encourage them to adopt that going forward? The first go-round, because we did not have much time, and it took me quite a while to get this vision and mission out of here and onto paper, computer. I communicated individually and gave each person a vision and what was in it for them to join our team. And I had people on the phone Yes. Well, can I get back to you in a in a month? <laughs> oh. No. How about a little sooner? Oh, a week? No. <laughs> How about today? <laughs> and I had people join the team in right then and there. And I think relaying what I wanted out of it and what they would get out of it turned them around quickly. And, and so that was your <coughs> question there, right? So you would consider communicating that vision and having them adopt it to be successful? Yes. And I believe that one of the things that I did was I told them over and over and over in conversation <coughs> to remember our mission is to our members. We serve them and we need to nurture them through TLI. And once you continue to remind them of those things, as well as having told them in the beginning, that team really worked and did the things that we wanted done on their own. I, I can hardly even take credit for anything except reminding them what the mission was and where we wanted to go. They were just doing, yes. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your sentence there. Do you see, and I'm, there are a couple of yes and no answers, do you see a higher number of officers coming to the next TLI to be trained? I visualize the yes oh. rows. Okay. Oh. So <laughs> go with me close. to see maybe 300 to 350 people coming instead of 200? 400. Okay. So that, I think that's a good thing to have in there. And did you have a full complement of assistance for this TLI? And are they going forward and going to be helping at the next one? Okay. So first of all, did you have a full complement of helpers? No. No? No. 
are the did the helpers that you did you talk to the helpers about staying on with you and serving for the next DLI? To continue your mission and your vision with this so you don't have to retrain a whole bunch of new people. But once you've done it once, yeah. you need someone new to step in and take that role. So, so you're going to have to train a whole new group of people no, see, for the next TLI. Well, you'll actually just, you need, you talk about people to mentor for the TLI after the next one, right, to take over. Mm -hmm. And I think she's talking about the core group that supported you this time. Will they come back or you got to this all over again? Well, we're having our wrap up this yeah. Friday, and, and I will ask that question. Some may be burnt out because they didn't get enough members on their team for the chair. Um, whatever chair it was, maybe they didn't have enough people on their team. And they did a lot of the work themselves. So part of your goal then would be for those people to start sooner, now that you know, yep. get, get a team together. together, get on this sooner so that you've got a full complement of team members. Would that be a goal of yours? Yes. One of the things is with the handbook, responsibility, roles and responsibilities are documented. You give them a sheet, it's got everything that they need to do and when to do it. Yeah. This is real quick. Tying into what uh, Paula just said, you know, one of the dimensions is persuasion. So what are going to be your persuasive means, words, ideas for more members to come along with persuading <clears throat> that team? Yeah, to stay with you. Because I hear Steve say you got the passion, but it's got to be persuasive. I'm just curious. We are all members of Toastmasters. Without our passion for TLI, we cannot instill it in anyone else. We need to show the rest of the district that there is passion for TLI and allow them to start grabbing on as the train is going down the track. Is that what you're looking for? Start? Did you say time or do you call time. it? Time. 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 Okay. And then pop off. Oh. Right. Did you have a wrap up or was you know, you made? That was the Q and A and then, then the wrap up is uh, for the agenda, it's you, right? Yeah, I'm mean, done with this. After you wrap up. Yeah, you can make a closing statement, wrapping up if, if you have. I think that putting our energies toward all the areas of members, everything counts, everyone counts, and to do it where we have fun, and we show that fun, and our smile, then members will want to come back.